All right, if you've been following along with this whole video series and you know that we've learned about regression, we've learned how to include categorical variables in the, in the regression, we've learned how to create a skew transformation to fix problems with norm normalcy uh, so that our, ac our predictions are more accurate. Now it's time to put it all together into a prediction calculator. So let's make a new tab down here. So you're going to start with a clean page. I'm going to uh, put a uh, variable right here, value, and I want to start by just taking uh, each of our variable names and pasting them down uh, that list. So we've got several things here. I'll just grab all of those. And I want to make this as simple as possible. So I'm actually going to combine these together in one variable called region. And grab these, bring them up here. I think I want to do a border on the bottom and the top. Let's add a bottom border across here. Okay, prediction is going to be right here in this cell. Beautiful. All right, so what I need is to have allow people to put in a value for a customer who comes through the door and wants uh, to sign up for our insurance. And I, okay, so this doesn't work with health insurance because there are laws against this, but let's pretend this is auto insurance. They can do this legally. Uh, you come in and they're gonna ask you some information about yourself and they're gonna come up with a custom rate quote for you that is based on how risky they think you are and how much they think that you're going to cost them. So smoker is a yes, no value. However, what if some people just put a Y? Uh, what we wanna do is, is make it really easy for them to select only valid options. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and make two rows, yes, no. I'm gonna do this for smoker. I'm gonna do it for sex. I'm gonna do it for region north, east, northwest, south, east, south. West. Okay, and we're going to hide these cells here in a little bit. All right, so for smoker, what we'll do is we're going to go to data validation uh, right here. And we're going to go to data validation there. And we're going to say allow only values from a list. Where is the source of this list? Click right here. The source is right there. Enter, enter. There we go. And what that gives us is this little drop down right here. For now, they can only select a uh, plausible value. So let's do that two more times here with these other two lists. Data validation list source enter beautiful. Um, put my cursor in the last one. The validation list. I guess you don't need me to be narrating this while you're doing it on your computer. Okay. Let's select, I guess I'm technically south. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm in the west, the southwest. All right. Age. Uh, we can go ahead and make a list for age two, or we can just trust that people will know how to put in an integer and call it good. Same thing with BMI, you could put a little BMI table out here somewhere that would help people figure out what they are. I'm not gonna to go to that uh, extent right now. Children also an integer, I'm gonna leave that as is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in 42, um, let's say 30 and children three. So now all we need to do is come up with a formula that, um, that, that gives us the prediction. So to do that, Rather than go back and forth between these two pages, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab these coefficients. Is that our last model? Oh no, this is our last model down here. Okay, so we have the skew transformed model. Before I do that one, I'm going to first just do this model before it that's not skew transformed. Uh, so you can see both ways. So if it's not skew transformed, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna say this equals, so I've got to do MX for all three of those things plus B. So I'm going to say, uh, let's start with smoker. Uh, I'm going to take the value of smoker. I'm going to say if uh, smoker 
oh, sorry, not smoker. If this cell equals yes, then I'm going to add this value right here. This is the coefficient when smoker equals one, or it's the coefficient for smoker. So I'm going to multiply that coefficient by uh, actually, that's it. I, I was going to multiply it by one, but all we do is we say if C4 equals that, um, then, then that's the value we want. Same thing with sex. I'm just going to simply say, and if it's, if it's no, sorry, I, I didn't finish this. Uh, no, let me fix it. Okay, yeah, I got it. Thanks. So if it's yes, use that value. If no, the value is zero, right? Because a no is coded as a zero in our data set and zero times that coefficient is just zero. So that's all I put in. All right, now let's add to that. <laughs> Poor friend. All right, let's add to that um, an if this cell equals, let's see, one is male, so we'll do male. Um, if it's male, use the coefficient for sex. So that discounts their rate by just a small amount, otherwise zero. Um, oh, I meant to add these together. Okay, so this is gonna return, um, for me, it's gonna return zero plus zero so far, right? Because no is coded as zero, male is coded as zero. If it was a smoking female, or sorry, no, it's gonna be negative 131 for me because as a male, I'd get that score. If it was a smoking female, it would be this value plus zero and plus the intercept, which we got to add in at the end. Anyway, we got uh, those two taken care of. Let's close this, add in the intercept and just see it work so far. All right, so after accounting for the intercept, I'm predicted to cost negative 13,000. All right, well, we haven't taken into account everything else. So let's include the others now. Right here in this variable, what I'm gonna do is continue right there and add in the next value. So the next value is based on region. This is the only one that's gonna be a little bit tricky. So there are a few ways we could do this. I think a VLOOKUP table is going to be the easiest. We already have a VLOOKUP table right here. The only thing we need in it Actually, let me back out of that formula, is to include the last one, southeast. Actually, I don't know if I even need to include this for a VLOOKUP table. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is saying, let me show you out here in this cell first. It's going to equal VLOOKUP. The value is going to be this cell right there. The table array is this right here. Column we want to return is column 2. That's the value in that table. And let's see, false, no, uh, did I miss something? Uh, false, what am I missing here? Uh, I have an extra one of these. There we go. Okay, because it's Southwest, it pulled up the coefficient for Southwest. So basically I'm gonna take this formula that I just made right here minus the equal sign. And I'm going to go back here to this overall formula. Oh, don't do that. And I'm going to add it in as another M, uh, MX right here. Paste. Okay, now that's included too. I don't need this anymore. All right, so I've taken care of those. Now let's add an age BMI in children. All right, I know this is getting a little complicated, but stick with me. This is right here. This is a M1 times X1 plus M2 times X2 plus M3 times X3 right here. Let's do the next one. These ones are a lot easier, these last three. We don't need any more fancy if statements or, or V lookups. All we're going to do is say parenthesis age times the coefficient for age. Boom, numeric ones are a lot easier. Close the parenthesis, enter. All right, now my costs are getting a little bit closer to positive. Uh, cool, let's add in BMI and children the same way. 
plus BMI times the coefficient for BMI plus children times the coefficient for children. Enter. There we go. That's more like it. My predicted insurance charge is 9360 Now what we can do is hide all this junk so nobody sees what's going on underneath the hood. And we say, all right, come right here and select your values. Smoker, yes. And I can see my prediction change as I go through and adjust all these values. Email, Northeast, I think, is the most expensive. All right, there's our predicted insurance costs for a 42-year-old, 30 BMI, three children, female, and Northwest who smokes. Um, it's amazing how much difference smoking makes. This is real data, by the way, all the way down to 10,000. It was sort of shocking to me to find that Southeast was the cheapest one, having, I, I'm from the Southeast uh, when I was younger, anyway. Interesting that children cost more money. By the way, this, this doesn't mean that your overall insurance cost is including your children's medical care. This is just the cost of an adult who has children goes up a pretty decent amount. Anyway. So that's our prediction calculator, kind of a cool, useful tool. You can build this as an online, uh, or sorry, as an offline tool for, I don't know, salespeople or whoever else might need something like this um, after you've put together your predictive model. And that's it. Oh, but you know, I just realized I haven't shown you how to do this after we've made a skew transformation. That's important. All right, so down here is our model. If you're interested, if you watch that video, you can skip this if you didn't and be done with this video. But... If you watch me skew transform charges from its original form into a natural log and you saw us get a, a better prediction, a better predictive accuracy out of that, here's what we do. So I'm gonna grab these coefficients instead and that intercept. And let me go ahead and unhide these. Add this down here. So this is going to be the OG calculator. This is going to be the, uh, the skew transform. So good, it kept all my data validations. All I'm going to do now is uh, let's switch these things out. So um, let's see, intercept. Oh, I got to first add in my row for southeast. I may have been able to get away with a VLOOKUP. If there wasn't a value in there, it automatically used zero, but I wasn't sure. I didn't want to mess with it. Zero. Okay, so right here, I'm going to, looks like all I got to do is move these down a bit. Resets all those values. Whoops. this new table. Now, notice our prediction is in the SKU transformed version. So what we got to do is take that and convert it back to the original scale. And the inverse of a natural log, again, is exponent. Wrap this whole big nasty thing in the exp function. And there we go. Uh, now, remember, keep in mind, that by transforming it, we do change the, uh, so this is going to be a more accurate prediction because the charges is not as, it's no longer, uh, it's no longer skewed. We've adjusted it so that it went from this down to this, if you remember that last video. So in that case, I feel like this would be a more accurate prediction for this person. So if your variables are already normally distributed and you don't have to worry about skewness, then you can make your prediction cal calculator just like that. If you want to improve it and get something more accurate, you can uh, make mathematical transformations like the skewness transformation. And then you just have to make sure that when you're done predicting, you convert it back from whatever you, it was that you did uh, to the label originally, which again, was right here, we converted it to a natural log. All right, not so bad. Uh, that's it for, um, for prediction calculators.